Hey, this is Andy with Crankshaft Culture. We're behind the wheel of the 2024 Ineos Grenadier here in Portland. We just picked this vehicle up and getting a little bit of seat time with it to familiarize ourselves with the uh, vehicle. So we only have about 20 miles on it thus far, but just kind of getting an idea of how it drives before we take it on a 5,000 plus mile journey on the Alcan 5000 Winter Rally. So we're in the hills of Portland, Oregon. Beautiful summer, uh, summer, summer eat like day. <laughs> uh, here in the winter, we got Mercedes behind the wheel here. I'm sorry, behind the camera, I'm behind the wheel. Anyway, so the Grenadier feels very, very solid. Overall, the doors close with a resounding thunk. Everything feels sturdy and stout. Uh, the interior is very utilitarian without feeling chintzy. It's it's very purpose-built, as they say, built on purpose. So the first driving impressions I can give you are that it drives like a truck. And that's good because that's what it is. You know, you don't have sports car-like reflexes and whatnot, but it's not bad. It's, it's the way it's supposed to be. So uh, the steering wheel feels nice and chunky. All your controls are easily uh, at hand. The Recaro seats are really nice. They're very supportive, good bolstering. And then uh, the external vision, outward vision is very good. Uh, except for the rear, which has the split uh, tailgate, if you will. And uh, otherwise you can see really, really well out of it. Uh, the Grenadier is powered by a 3-liter BMW twin scroll turbo engine and uh, it's it's got plenty of power um, again this isn't supposed to be a, a drag racer but you're never left wishing like it would go faster at least not yet I haven't uh, felt that so uh, everything feels very controlled but the steering does take some getting used to because again it's solid front rear axles think old Land Rover, think Jeep Wrangler or Gladiator. But so far, I actually quite enjoy driving this and I'm getting a good feel for the car. So uh, we're going to put some more miles on it and uh, get all ready for the Alcan 5000, which is coming up in just a couple of weeks. So stay tuned and be sure to like and subscribe to the channel uh, if you enjoy this content and you want to see more Ineos Grenadier and more Alcan 5000 Rally.